I've been playing around with the Ardor 3 beta recently and I figured out how to hook up Linux Sampler as an instrument and that's really cool so I just thought I'd show how you do that. Um, before I was using Linux Sampler and other samplers as external instruments and connecting them via jack which works okay but you end up needing to save all your connections um, actually it does it quite well in the patch bay you can um, you can create a patch bay definition as a snapshot of all actual client connections that's really handy Thing you can do with QJack control. So you can save that state and you can save the state of your instruments in an exampler and you can save obviously your session in Ardor and then you can restore everything but it's a bit tedious as well so an alternative approach is to use it as a plugin. Um, just to mention uh, the Wootangent website that's Lee Dyer's website. He's done loads of good screencasts and there's great information on this website. But he also mentions um, a load of other synths you can use as plugins with Ardor 3. Okay, so let's just fire up Ardor. So this is Ardor Tree Beta 5. It has some bugs like this zoom issue here. And okay. So let's add a MIDI track. Okay, and of course I'm gonna use the Salamander piano sample. That's excellent. So in here I have the, I think these are um favorites in your plugins. So I think that's how they get in there. So I just add that MIDI track and that appears as a normal Ardor 3 MIDI piano roll. Okay, so that's hooked up, but the next sampler hasn't been configured. So you can open up a front end. I use Q sampler. It's another one, Fantasia. I think there may be other ones as well. This is what I use, so I select SFC and the Salamander Grand Piano. Okay, and that's all you have to do. Now, the alternative way if you use it as an external instrument is to configure the channels and then hook these up via um, jack. So you connect up various channels to various instruments. And so with this way, you just set it up like that. And then you already have, let me just connect that actually. So just so that you can hear that. Okay. Um, okay, so I'll just create a new MIDI section. I'll edit and draw some notes just to show you that it works. Okay. Now I think the way that you add, you add an sampler to your favorite plugins is in the mixer. So just have a look at that. So here we have, this is the track we just added. And if you were to do add a new plugin there, 
you can go to plugin manager and this is what we see so i've obviously already used the link sampler so that's why it's in there but you can set that up yourself um you can also of course add a bus in here let's just add reverb bus and There we go. And for example, we can already send our MIDI piano track to the reverb. So it's kind of handy, so you can build up of course, you could bounce this to um, an audio track and then you can process it any way you want. But I think it's really nice to have bits in MIDI and you can add some processing and effects to them and keep working on it. So I'll just add another instrument. So I'll add, again, using the Linux sampler instrument I'll add a drum track I'll use so okay so I've added a MIDI track and here again in the front end in Q sampler I see an unconfigured instrument so I'm going to do the same trick again so FC and I'll use the salamander drum kit And here we are again, same thing. And let's just add drum track. And scribble in some notes just, just to show that it actually works. Now, the really cool thing is Okay, so you can save it, close, and let's just close Q Sampler. Don't have to save anything there. And I'll start Ardor up again. And yeah, that was the one we just created. And here we go. That's it.